So my class worked on a mini golf project for project-based learning. And my main goal was to hit some of the geometry standards, which are standards that usually happen towards the end of the school year, and we don't always get to those. Um, so I taught them some basic terms. We looked at some basic um, designs that they might have, and then we broke into groups. Um, they had to design it on paper first um, before they started building it. Now, I would say the, the biggest challenge the fourth graders had was taking that two-dimensional design and then transferring it into something that was three-dimensional. That was a huge challenge for them. You make your own mini golf course and you use like acute angles and like diagonal things and you have to make stuff out of like wood or like popsicle sticks and things and you had to make it like on a paper or you could do it through um, a lid. We learned like acute angles and um, like diagonal lines and stuff. We used perpendicular lines for like the things you could go through, like they went through them and things. Uh, my name is Blake Gronenberg and uh, I work at the Al-Qaeda Golf Course. I am the uh, superintendent there. Um, come in and look at other, the kids' courses and or golf holes and see like how creative they are and stuff like that. Notice like very cool shapes and different designs. Um, very hard courses but um, <laughs> Like squares, rectangles, all that jazz, so. Outside, all right? Oh. Um, something I might do differently next time is show them some building techniques. How can you construct a good sturdy wall, but also something that we could take apart and um, maybe put back together the next time we do it. Kids um, enjoyed the process, but they talked about a lot about how hard it was to figure out how to build things. Um, so I also next time I might have some sample materials. You know, this would be a good thing to build from. This would maybe be too flimsy. So overall, did you like this project? Yeah, it was really fun.